Hi, today I'll teach you how to make a glass effect in Illustrator. The style is also called glass morphism and is very on trend right now with the release of Windows 11, which heavily uses it. This effect is made up of four different layers. We have a background, a copy of the background where we'll apply some effects, a white transparent layer for the reflections and a noise texture as the cherry on top. And let me tell you, this effect looks pretty damn real, so let's not waste time. For this tutorial, we'll be using several different panels, so if you can't find them in your workspace, just open them in the window menu. To start, you need a background. This background can be any image you want, or even a vector background like geometric shapes or a pattern. The only thing I do recommend is that you use something that is a little bit darker and with sharp details, because the glass effect is more noticeable this way. With the background in the artboard, the first step is to duplicate it, and you can do that by selecting the background, copying it using Ctrl or Command C, then pasting it on the front using Ctrl or Command F. If I drag it, you can see we now have two images. Then we'll select the duplicate and apply a blur effect. Just open the appearance panel, go to the effects on the very bottom, then blur, then Gaussian blur, and set the radius to 70 pixels. This is what gives that frosted glass look to this effect. On top of the blur, we'll add another effect called glass, which again, you can find in the effects menu, then distort, then glass. Set the distortion to 12 and the smoothness to 7. On the texture, select frosted and set the scaling to 200%. Then hit OK. Look at how beautiful this is already looking. The next step is to make a clipping mask on this image. And to do that, we'll create a rectangle and round the corners. You can actually use whatever shape you want, but rounded corners usually look better because of the reflections. Then make two copies of this rectangle by holding ALT and dragging it. We'll use these copies to make the reflections layer and the noise layer, and since all these layers will be stacked on top of each other, they all need to be the same shape and the same size, so it's easier to just copy them now. Ok, now just position the rectangle wherever you want, I'm gonna use the align panel and place it in the center of the artboard, then select both the rectangle and the image and press Ctrl or Command 7 to make the clipping mask. You can also right-click and choose Make Clipping Mask in the menu. For the Reflections layer, position one of the copied rectangles on top of the clipping mask and go to the Gradient panel. There, make sure you have the fill selected and click on the Gradient slider to create a new gradient. Set both colors to white and change the opacity of the first one to 25% and the second one to 0%. Then change the angle to 65%, select the midpoint, which is this square dot above the gradient slider, and change its location to 30%. Now click on the stroke and then click again on the gradient slider to create a new gradient on the stroke. The gradient on the stroke will give us that sharp reflection we see on the edges of the glass. Start by adding a new white color in the gradient slider and setting its position to 50%. Then adjust the opacity of all three colors from left to right, 25%, 5% and 25% again. Select the first midpoint and set its position to 35%. Then select the second one and set its position to 65%. Lastly, change the angle to 100 degrees negative, open the stroke panel and align the stroke to the outside. And for the final layer, position the last remaining copy of the rectangle on top of all other layers, set its color to black, go to the effects menu on the appearance panel and under artistic select the film grain option. Set the grain, the highlights and the intensity to the maximum and click OK. Open the transparency panel, change the blending mode to overlay and reduce the opacity to 50%. And now we're done! Look at how beautiful this looks! It looks so much like glass, it even looks like a 3D render and not something you would make in Illustrator. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day! Bye!